What's up everyone it's your girl i'm back and this is venus in gemini how to be irresistible this is a new series that i'm doing and i hope that you guys are enjoying it and we are talking about venus and how venus plays out in beauty and fashion and in swagger right so Venus is external, we've covered that. It's not as much about internal processing. And so what we get from Venus are the keys of how to be pleasurable, how to be attractive, and how to not just be attractive on a sense of beauty and fashion, but also to just be attractive towards anything that we want in life. So Venus is playing into our desires by being pleasurable and by pulling in pleasure, right? And every Venus sign has a secret to it that allows you to pull in pleasure based off of what it is that you want, okay? And guess what? When it comes to Venus, you know, Mars is what you want. But Venus, you don't have to know what you want. You don't. You just have to abide by the rules and see what comes to you see what you draw in you know and that's one of the beauties of venus because it's not necessarily about being competitive about drive or desire right it feeds desire very well which is why venus and mars together create such a captivating combination but just alone venus is just soft law of attraction and strength of pulling in whatever it is that you want okay so now that i've given you a little breakdown of venus i want to tell you guys about venus in gemini now if you have a sun moon or rising in gemini then this still applies to you because there is an ultimate blueprint that um everyone has according to their planets and their um placements so the sun moon and rising still give a, a lot of information about how Venus is played out. So if you've got Sun, Moon, Rising, and Gemini, then this will still work for you. But most especially if you have Venus and Gemini, this applies to you. Okay, so she is the ultimate marketing seductress, okay? Venus and Gemini works like marketing because it's about pulling curiosity. And while the phrase, um, that phrase, curiosity killed the cat, sounds like it could apply to Venus and Leo, I feel like it's really a really good application for Venus and Gemini, okay? There is a cat-like feline nature to Gemini energy when it comes to expressing itself through Venus. And um, it's more playful, it's more um, flirtatious, and um, it works very well for this placement. So I want you guys to remember that because there are also evidence of people with Venus and Gemini who play off of this cat-like energy. Okay, but the the thing that I want to bring to you is the concept of curiosity and peaking curiosity. And this is the art of marketing. The art of marketing is getting people interested so that they go a little bit more, right? They go a little bit further into wanting to know what you have. They want to go a little bit further into seeing what it is that you have to offer. And the the strategy of this is through the art of peaking someone's curiosity, which means that you don't give everything off all at once and you don't um, give all of your best stuff right right from the beginning, right? You might give a little bit of your best stuff, but you want to make sure that when you're giving a little bit of your best stuff, that there's still a lot more stuff that is still waiting in the wings for people to come in and be pulled in to your marketing funnel, okay? So... This plays out with Venus and Gemini in peekaboo uh, fashion, okay? So things that are like little mini cutoffs, like 
peekaboo holes in the side of a dress or um you know ripped jeans that have like peekaboo um you know nature to them basically like things with holes in them work really well for, for venus and gemini okay and it's intentional you know you know like how uh denim can be distressed and it can be ripped that's venus and gemini because it's giving a little bit of it but you can't see it all okay um it also sheer materials um work well for venus and gemini there are other placements that also do well and um utilize sheer you know see-through materials but venus and gemini is one of the main ones because it's not giving you the whole thing it's giving you a, a little glimpse of it which actually feels even more like sexual pulling right um because of of that so like venus and aries i'm just i need to say this because it's in my head venus and aries is different than gemini in the fact that venus and aries is just like here's my skin here's my body there's nothing to imagine i'm fucking sexy sorry excuse my language but venus and gemini is do you want to see a little more or do you want to see a little more do you want to see a little more and that's the difference when i'm talking about in your face versus pulling in um peaking curiosity so they're both very sexy they both will show off their body to an extent but one will do it di differently than the other and that's what i want to make sure that i write and put into this video for you and the irresistibility for venus and aries is necessary for it to do that right because venus and aries is a chasing energy they chase after you people want to be chased after by venus and aries but venus and gemini people want don't want you to chase them they you know that's why I like when you see a lot of marketing and ads and it's like too much in your face you get annoyed so like venus and gemini if you chase after people and you just give everything off and give all of the skin and everything people might be annoyed people might um really feel almost a little uncomfortable for it but if you give them a little bit then they are uncomfortable in a good way you know what i'm saying um, now, the shoulders for Venus and Gemini placements are one of your best assets. So showing off shoulder, which means you can have peekaboo shoulder cutoffs, you can have spaghetti straps. I'm actually wearing my bra right now, but spaghetti straps in the shoulders. You can do like the old 80s, 90s look with the one shoulder off and the big oversized t-shirt and the shoulder you know anything like that because your arms and your shoulders are kind of like your best assets due to gemini ruling over this part of the body and so venus manifests physical beauty with that part of your body and can be very alluring and very irresistible okay so um the key with this placement also is in the coloring and there are two extremes because um, every sign has duality, but Gemini has very strong duality, right? In the sense that there are twins. It's represented by the twins. And so there's one part that's kind of like the angel to see me as pure and simple. And then there's the other part that's like, I've got all these different contrasting ideas going on with me, right? And so through the color spectrum, Venus and Gemini can be very multicolored. They can be very like, you know, um, two different colors on the op opposite color wheel coming together, right? And they do very well with combining colors, right? Multicolored, multi-toned fashions, prints are very good for Venus and Gemini. Also combining multi-different patterns. So like a completely different pattern mixed with another p completely different pattern. Um different materials mixed with one another things that don't go together work very well with venus and gemini understand that this energy is about marketing and people who have venus and gemini are meant to be incredible marketers and one thing that i know based off of going viral like in today's world we talk about going viral one thing that people do a lot of that um that i want you to C works in a Venus Gemini energy is putting two things that don't go together together, which piques a lot of curiosity and makes people 
grabs people's attention so quickly. And this is why putting two fabrics, two colors, two things that don't go together together in your beauty and fashion is natural for a Venus and Gemini and they can handle it. They can pull it off, okay? But like I said, this energy is also in duality. And so there's an angel and a devil when you're dealing with Gemini. And the angel, the angelic part of it is to be a lot more simple, which means that they can be completely monotone as well. They can go from having a lot of different colors to being completely the same color head to toe, okay? And um, this actually works well in other placements as well. But one placement that, of course, you'll see this is in Venus and Virgo, as Venus um, Venus and Gemini and Venus and Virgo both share the ruling planet of Mercury. And Mercury is more about precision. Um, with Virgo, it's about cleanliness. So you'll find that there's a lot of monotone or just one color pieces with Virgo or color blocking. So it's not combined, but it's color blocking. Let me make a, a distinction here for you. Venus and Gemini might have like a full black um, ensemble with like ribbing that is yellow or green or neon, right? Like, so you'll see like the, you'll see the color on top of each other mixed in with one another, okay? Where Venus and Virgo, you're going to get more color blocking, like this um, piece of um, lipstick, for, for example, the top will be all one color, which is black. And the bottom would be all one color, which is pink. That would be more of a Venus and Virgo placement. So, but they can both do that. They both are trying to interlock colors together. That's Mercury. But then Mercury is also about cleanliness. And so another output of Venus and Gemini and Venus and Virgo are monotone colors. But Gemini takes it to a whole nother level because Virgo won't have as much of the frills and the extra additives that goes into the fashion but Venus and Gemini will have everything so the hat if the hat has feathers if the um whole the whole the gloves the whole ensemble every little piece and detail will be of the same color that's a very Venus and Gemini thing to do because the monotone energy is their duality versus the multicolored tone energy and i've seen it time and time again with some of your best celebrities who are um you know who are dressed at their best you know so this is something to remember overall venus and gemini is one of the more flashier placements and you won't find too many people that are coy with their ensemble they naturally stand out and they have a great ability to just put a whole look together that is captivating that's almost like persona like characteristic like okay there are again other placements that can do this but venus and gemini is one to not be slept on because they have the natural ability to put together a actual look that is their own unique and pulls off the um, contrast that a lot of people would think is wacky and weird. Um, it's really great for them to wear their hair as freeing as possible, which means wild and free. And um, like their opposite placement, Venus and Sag. They also look really good with neon colors in their hair, in their clothes. They look good with different color here, different types of hairstyles, whatever it is that they can best express themselves. Um, Venus and Gemini does not need to be put into a box when it comes to colors, hairstyles, and all of that, okay? They naturally are using their intelligence, and they might want to put on this display something about their intelligence. So this can happen in a multitude of ways. Some of it is just you know, cliche wearing glasses, but not shades, like wearing like nerdy glasses. And maybe they don't need glasses, but they might wear that to share a sense of intelligence. Another output is graphic t-shirts that have messages on them, quotes on them, 
that's a very Venus and Gemini thing because they're kind of like a billboard messenger. And so they might have a statement or s something to say in their clothing. Okay, so that is how to be irresistible. That is the blueprint of fashion and beauty for Venus and Gemini. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you'd like to learn more, if you'd like to read more about Venus and Gemini and the other zodiac signs, just go ahead and check all the info that I have in the description box. And I'll see you in the Venus and Cancer video.